Casey is helping us winterize our home this morning. And Casey, you're looking at the water heater next. That's right. We're talking about the Utah Winterization Assistance Program, and they go out there and they help low-income houses make sure that they're getting the most bang for their buck. And we've got Mike here, and he's talking about some simple hacks that we can do with the water heater that's going to save us some big bucks. Right. Uh, Casey, what I wanted to point out first is the water heater blanket. Um, that's something that some people don't even know about. I didn't. It's something, yeah, it's something that's really good to have on your water heater. You can buy kits for this at most of the uh, big box stores. Big box stores and stuff. But you just uh, what they have to do is you have to. It's it's an insulation blanket that you put on here. Usually it's about an R7. Just adds a little. Extra, and it's um, going to keep the heat in there longer, which is not going to make you have to turn it on as right. enough to keep it uh, fired up and make sure. So you just tape that on there. Right. You said there's a couple things that you want to know. is You want to keep right. it away from the very top of the unit so it doesn't restrict the water flow. And you said you also want to keep it about two inches above the vents down there below because uh, that's where the heating coil is, right? Right. What it is down here, you want to keep it at least two inches away from the controls and away from the burners. It can't be down below. Uh, the burner part. Okay. And then up here, what it's doing is it's actually, you don't want to restrict the flow of your bad gases from the combustion. Okay. The water heater. And this is going to save you some money in the long run. And that's what we're talking about this morning is uh, winterization. And uh, let's also see this right here because what is this? Okay, this is pipe insulation. And some people know about it but don't know exactly how to put it on properly. I always just had it on my bike for safety reasons. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, but uh, this is actually going to keep your copper pipes cool and it's going to keep them warm as well, right? Right. What you do is to put this on, uh, it has a, an opening there where you pull it off, it sticks together as you put it put it around and then it'll just fit on the pipes. You can see how it just opens up, you slide it on there. Insulates it. That's so right. great. You also use the zip ties. And then put that around that and there. you're going to be good to go. We're talking about winterizing your home. We're here with the Utah Winterization Assistance Program. For more information about anything you saw this morning or help on getting your home winterized, go to our website, KUTV.com, and uh, click on the morning show and you'll know all that we know. See you guys.